Bond. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's a uh, he's he's been one of my best friends for a long time. We've uh, known each other since third grade, so uh, second grade. So yeah, it's been a long, a long relationship. Have you played against him much ever? Like even picked up or? Like yeah, that? yeah, pick up. Uh, growing up, we played on the same AAU team, and then we stopped playing on the same team. So we played against each other a few times at the bet. And in high school, of course, we were high school teammates. Right. Yeah. So this won't be this won't be totally unusual. You can keep no, 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 no. Jalen, uh, points, rebounds. I think you're 15 and eight. You're top 10 in the league, and both of those stats. Can you just uh, talk about being the all-around player, and uh, what's the next step for you? Um, I just, you know. I've always tried to make myself a complete player, uh, not giving anyone a reason to, you know, say anything about me that I can't do, do this or do that. So I just come out and try to play the best game I can. And the next step is just continuing what I'm doing and continue to help my team in every way that I can. Hey, Jalen, how, how much do you, you know, the other night you, Tristan and, the one and, and some of those guys kind of stepped up with Marcus and Bryce out. How much do you think that can carry over? I mean, now that they've experienced that, do you think that they can kind of be that the rest of the way? Of course. Uh, I've always believed in them too. Um, I've always known that they're going to come in and have their time. And with Marcus being out, that was their time to step up and show what they can do. So I'm very confident that the both of them will roll over to the next game and the rest of the season playing with the confidence they had the other night. Hey, Jalen, what do you think about the season that Ochai Abaji is having right now? Uh, Ochai's having a great season. He's playing with great confidence. I think he thinks very highly of his game. Uh, this is you know, the most, most I've ever seen him with like energy and just the toughness he plays with and everything that he brings to the court. So I definitely say his confidence, though, is, is definitely something that I've noticed a lot. Hey, Jalen, uh, back to Davion for a, a minute. He, talk, he talked about yesterday you guys worked out a lot during the pandemic when you guys were back home. What were those like? Uh, great workouts. Uh, we both used to work out in the morning, early mornings together at, uh, at Sanders. And uh, we would also go play pickup uh, with a lot of other players. So, you know, probably about four or five times a week we were in the gym or working out together. So, yeah, it was, it was great. Um, he's a guy that really pushes you to get better as well as get better himself. So it was really good. I was going to ask how that helped you guys both as you get ready for the season. Great. Uh, we both have always had the same, you know, dreams in life, playing basketball, you know, playing together, playing against each other. So I've always pushed him. He's always pushed me. So it's always, you know, got us better at the end of the day. Awesome. Thanks, Jalen. Jalen, who would you say are some leaders in the locker room? Uh, leaders, of course, Marcus being the point guard, uh, Dave. Uh, you know, Ocha, I think myself, I think really just everyone, everyone has a little part. And of course, the upperclassmen who've been here longer, they, uh, they always are teaching and trying to learn more as well, just because they've been here and experienced more than most of us. So I definitely say those people. Jalen, talking about the summer workouts, could you describe a little bit about your process for that? Did you have some specific goals in mind? Did you hear from coaches about what they wanted you to work on or was that your own method? And then coming into the season, what were the specific areas that you wanted to see for your encore performance improve and become the complete player that you say you want to be? Uh, during the summer, I uh, just reevaluated myself and how I used to know, eat, um, sleep, how I trained and all those things factored into my body and how everything else turned out. So I'd say just, I just, you know, looked myself in the mirror and said what I wanted to change and I did it. And I just worked hard every single day of the summer being home so long because of uh, COVID. I really took advantage of my time being able to work on myself. Um, and then coming here, just my expectations of myself were just, you know, come in and do what I do. I uh, never really try to force anything, just, just play my game and let everything else fold out. Hey, Jalen, had you not gotten hurt, um, do you think you would have made those changes and in turn been where you are today as far as, um, you know, the impact you've had on this team? Uh, I always say that uh, I think getting hurt was like uh, a really big blessing in my life. It really made me like slow down and and uh, just really reevaluate my whole entire life of, of, and not just my life, but just 
what I want to do in basketball. And I think being hurt made me appreciate basketball more, uh, made me appreciate what I had to do and the hard work that I had to put through to get to where I want to be. So I would definitely say being hurt made me, maybe not who I am, but definitely made me work harder. Jan, with, with few exceptions, Dewan, when he comes in this season, has really sparked the team. Uh, what's your observation on what he does that, that makes him so effective when he comes in? Uh, he's always looking to help the next man next to him, uh, whether it's on defense or offense. He's always making the extra pass, the best play, uh, getting inside the paint, making the next pass, or even scoring. He, uh, he was scoring well against TCU, so I think – the reason why everyone loves playing with him is because he's never thinking about himself. He's always thinking about others on the team and always looking to get other people open. Anything else for Dylan? Thank you. Thanks, Jim.